want to talk about what has happened with the price of Bitcoin within the last few hours and how you could have predicted this. You know, a lot of people are using lagging indicators. I put that analogous to looking at the rear view mirror of your car to try and figure out what direction the car is going in. But there are actually leading indicators that could have told you that Bitcoin's price was going to drop, that the market, wait a minute, have we rolled the new intro? Roll intro. If you really want to have an edge in your trading, you want to look at the signals that are telling you there's a bend in the road. There's a sign. Look for the signpost to say, hey, the road is going to turn or, you know, it's a straight road or whatever is going to happen. There are signposts in the market that actually say this is what's going to happen. And those signposts are really the market participants. If you understand order flow, if you understand what the market is doing, you can predict what's going to happen with price. There will be moments in time when you go, there is absolutely no way price can go up now. Like there is absolutely no way. And, and when you have that much certainty, that's when you should be placing a trade. Anyway, without talking about it too much, let's let's go on screen. So if we're just looking at a normal chart, I don't really get much information. I get the open high, low and close of what's going on with price. And I can see volume down here. Actually, this volume chart is pretty good because it shows me how there was buy volume, but it was a lot less than before. So we can see a real divergence going on here. But Interestingly, what you can do with tensor charts over here is I can turn the opacity up. So as soon as I do that and I've got this candlestick, so basically on the charting package as a default, you've got the candlesticks turned on. I'm going to turn those off and now I can actually see what's going on in the market with volume. I can see volume at certain prices. I can see the volume was a lot stronger up here. The other thing I can do is I can set over the last 60 minutes, how strong was the buy volume and how strong was the sell volume? And I can click on this little chart icon. And now what that gives me is something called the counter ratio. And that counter ratio is showing me what multiple, what multiple of buyers are there compared to sellers. So what I'm actually looking for in this example is I can see this contradiction where I've got this very strong buying multiple over here. So far more buyers than sellers in the market. market. I can see that the candlestick shot right up. There's a lot of buy volume over here, but it didn't push price any higher. Now, interestingly enough, when you get back over to here, you can see there's less volume, there's less buy volume, and the price went even higher. So it basically went into this price vacuum. The market's been very, very quiet. So in the overall context of the market, it's very, very clear now that we have exhausted out the buyers. There, there are no more buyers in this market. Unless someone new comes in and for whatever reason wants to buy a ton of Bitcoin and they're going to eat up even more of the ask, the market's pretty thin. There's been this vacuum that's created. And so what happens next? Well, this. You could have predicted it. The price just goes down. So the whole point of this is to show you that you have a real edge over other traders. If you're looking at the order book, if you're looking at the, the concentration of buyers versus sellers or sellers versus buyers to predict a swing before it happens. We can see that price was exhausted over here, that the, that the buyers were exhausted and of course went into a downtrend. Look at price, look at volume, look at the market participants and what they are doing. If you can do that, you win. I want to say a special thank you to David from Tensor Charts for developing this platform. Guys, until the next video, I really hope you got some value out of this. If you got any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. But take care and talk soon.